Welcome, Skylander. Thanks for coming out to help. Greetings, Portal Masters. It's Lou here at Activision, here for another Let's Play video. We're gonna start this video with a look at the Cradle of Creation, which is actually the first level of the game. And so we're using Barbella, which is one of our Sentinel Senseis. She's got a really awesome double-ended staff that has these big boulders on the end that she's using to take out the Chompies and the Chompy Pods. She can also summon two massive rock hands that combine into this epic high five, smashing all of the enemies that come between. And we are investigating this area, which has a lot of crazy experience going on with mind magic. Barbell can also summon this really cool boulder square, which she can then hit with her staff towards enemies. Right, bad guy? Now, if you look up on that plateau, you'll see a soul gem, which Check let's see if we can find a way to grab it. Chest. Imaginite chests contain mind magic that can be used to create amazing imaginators. So as mentioned by Spyro, these imaginite chests are what hold all of the creation pieces that you can find along your adventure. New so here we've got a new shot quick weapon. shot weapon, the cowboy pistols. And so it's cool is that you're gonna find more and more of these Imaginite oh, chests throughout the adventure. <laughs> Nothing stands between me and where I want to go. All right, so we've found the Cliffs of Emergence. Now, if we were to walk back toward the camera, that might lead us to where that Soul Gem is. But we're gonna push forward. Don't want to spoil it too much for you guys. And so we're gonna push this giant boulder down the hill here, yeah. destroying this gate, along with any enemies that are in our path. Water Skylanders are stronger here. So now I just have to push this boulder into the hole here, and it's going to build a really, really cool bridge. Dragon mouth open up. And revealing our walkway. Look out for those boulders! Now we're gonna dodge the boulders as we make our way up the bridge to get to the very first Sensei Shrine. Only a Sensei of the Brawler class can open this shrine. Whoa, a Brawler Shrine! I wish Kingpen was here. And so you'll see all the different senseis that can access this shrine. And so we're gonna switch over to our brawler sensei, Kingpin, so that we can access the shrine. Stay frosty. Enter the penguin. Sky Chi power unlocked. And so these shrines don't just act as a really cool way to show off the skills of the senseis. They're also where you'll go to unlock the ability to use Sky Chi, which is the most ultimate power in Skylands that only the senseis have the ability to unleash. Sensei power. So you'll see here, Kingpin's Sky Chi move is the ability to dash between Enter enemies, doing lightning quick attacks, making quick work of those choppy bots. And so by defeating those enemies, we're gonna move on to the next area of this level. And it's crazy because it completely changes Whoa. what the level looks like. This is like. it, Skylander! The entrance of that super ancient place! It's the maze of the mine where we're gonna go in and continue to find what's going on with this reoccurrence Whoa. of mind magic. Who built a big maze right in the middle of their fortress? Oh yeah, I guess the ancients did. Uh, maybe as a way to confuse solicitors or something? <laughs> and so you wanna find a way to clear the pathway by stepping on these switches. You'll see it rotates the gates. And so there's a lot of hidden areas, a lot of different treasures that you can get. Uh, so you got to make sure that you're stepping on them in the correct way, leading to the correct paths, so that way you can get these treasures or simply find the exit. Got to get our movie popcorn on the way. Fight! 
fortune favors the cold. All right, so we've made it through the maze, and so we found our first battle gong. Whoa, here's an ancient battle gong. Sensei's banged these magical gongs to summon intense fights. I've heard the rewards are sweet, but you have to be a sensei. So as mentioned by Spyro, battle gongs are these crazy battles that only senseis can get into. And in fact, they're a really cool opportunity to unleash a Sky Chi mode. And so you'll see, we're getting attacked by a lot of enemies all at once. There's a meter in the upper right to show you how many enemies you need to take out. Red means they're still there fighting you and you need to defeat them. Green means you've taken them out. And once it's all green, you've won the battle gong encounter. You get a lot of experience, a lot of gold, which you can use to level up and upgrade your sensei. But then you also get an Imaginite chest. And so we've got a new backpack. We got Mr. Bear as a rare backpack. And from there, we're going to hop over to the Sensei Undead Realm. Skeletons! <laughs> Flynn, wait! Don't go through that door! Oh boy, Flynn just ran into the dungeon of a dozen dangers. It's a crazy place, and it changes each time you go in. If Flynn's gonna make it out in one piece, he'll definitely need your help. All right, as mentioned by Callie, we're checking out the Dungeon of a Dozen Dangers, and we're doing that with candy-coated chopscotch, which is a really awesome Halloween version of chopscotch. Actually, we've never done an official count. Okay. All right, and so every time you come into this level, it actually changes the layout as well as what enemies appear. And so you kind of want to explore the area, take on as many enemies as you can. See, we've got the Bone Chompies here. Of course, got to get a pretzel along the way. And so we're going to use everything that we can with Candy Coated Chopscotch, her awesome giant axe, because she's a smasher sensei. We also have the ability to grab our own head by the ponytail and throw it at enemies, as well as do that really awesome horizontal swinging slash at enemies. She's a really, really powerful sensei, despite her tiny size. And so let's see how we do trying to find this arena uh, in this undead sensei Don't realm. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. So we can explore over here. So you can see there are a lot of enemies in this area. And so what's really awesome about the elemental realms this year is that we've upgraded them into full-blown levels. And so this is the undead realm. And so these are realms that can be accessed by senseis themed around the different elements in the game. And so you'll see here, this undead realm is this really crazy world covered in skulls and bones and really good Halloween theming for our October Let's Play. And so we're really just trying to find what's going on and find out what happened to Flynn. So Callie's tasked us with tracking him down because of course he got scared of the skeletons and ran away. And so let's head through this door and see where it leads us. Oh, hey, it's hey, Flynn. Skylander, you're just in time to watch old Captain Flynn teach these creepy crawlers a lesson. All right, we found the arena, and so now's a good time to switch out to another sensei, who may be familiar. We're gonna play as Chaos, and his catchphrase of doom. And so Chaos, easily one of my favorite senseis to play as in Skylanders Imaginators, because while all of the other senseis have one of our different battle classes, Chaos actually has access to all of them. And so you'll see, as I'm pressing my main attack, it's focused on the different melee battle classes. So you'll see Brawler, you'll see Sentinel, you'll see all of those. And so now I'm also unleashing his Sky Chi, brings out his giant floating head and the ability to shoot lasers out of his eyes, which 
you know, I can do as well, which is really cool. Some great A bad guy battling, Skylander. I say we help ourselves to a little treasure before blowing this popsicle stand. And speaking of treasure, word is that it might be different each time you return. Replay boom! <laughs> Got the replay boom. Always want to come back, fight in the arena here, discover all of the untold treasures in this undead sensei realm, and who knows what you're going to get. So let's see, we've got some Imaginite chests here. Let's see what we get. We got a common piece. We got new legs. New legs. Of course, Skella legs. And we completed set a set, complete. which is awesome. So we unlocked a chest piece for the skeleton set. We're going to hop over to the Griffin Park Observatory, which is one of our new adventure pack levels for Skylander's Imaginators. Skylander, you are about to witness a most momentous occasion. These legendary griffins have started laying eggs again for the first time in 50 years. But unfortunately, trolls are stealing the eggs for their evil zoo with terrible conditions. That's literally what it's called. We can't let that happen, so I say we track down the poachers and return the eggs back to their nests. Might want to use the telescope at the main observatory to help locate them. Good luck, Skylander! Alright, so we're playing this level with Airstrike, who's one of our new Air Senseis. And so, what's really awesome about Airstrike is you'll see, he has his own bird following him. And this is the bird that he'll use to attack enemies. Okay, Skylander, we've got three sets of griffin nests in three different areas. Just look through the telescope and move it to the area you want to go to next. If you can find the stolen eggs, return them to their nests, and deal with the troll pests, that would be the best! Oh, swear I didn't mean for that to rhyme. And there's Tessa, you know, who unfortunately rhymes all the time. If you want to reach those nests on the cliffs, and I'm hoping you do, You'll need to explore the caves underneath the waterfall. There are more nests in the Troll Mountains. Probably not the best place for the griffins to lay eggs, but that's still no excuse for the trolls to steal them. The bridge moves to wherever the telescope is pointed. Convenient, huh? All right, so the way that this level works is that you're trying to find these eggs, and so when you go into the observatory, point the telescope at the different areas, it'll adjust the bridge so that you can go to that area. And so Airstrike and his faithful bird, Birdie, are gonna head and try and find some of these eggs and maybe fight some trolls along the way. Earth Skylanders are stronger here. All right, and so we've got an additional telescope here. Hopefully it'll give us a hint as to where we're supposed to go. We've got some enemy encampments, which we're hiding an egg. So always make sure to try and destroy whatever's around in the level so that way you can find all of the hidden griffin eggs. And so we've also got a detachable bridge, which hopefully will come in handy later as we get to a bridge crossing. All right, looks like we've got some trolls to take out. And you'll see Airstrike and Birdie make short ability to those guys. You can send Birdie off screen and get these really cool gusts of wind with these feathers that are left behind as you run around with airstrike. And so when you call Birdie back, those explode into air gusts attacking enemies. And so this is a bridge puzzle where you're trying to find different bridges of different materials to go to the crossings to then pick up additional bridges. And so you'll see the wood bridges only work at the wood bridge gates, and the metal bridges only work at those as well. And so you're trying to find the right bridge for the right crossing to continue forward. All right, so here we got a common item. We got some new legs. See, so we got the winged greaves. Pretty awesome, gives us some additional speed if we want to equip those on an Imaginator. All right, and so here's also a selfie spot. Get a good picture of Airstrike. Get a griffin egg in the background. All right, got our selfie spot bonus. And so once we hop out, you'll see we get some coins. And when you take a selfie, you have those pictures saved onto your camera roll. And when you go back into the academy, 
you can fill out the picture frames of all of your favorite senseis or imaginators of each of the different battle classes. And so you get these really awesome framed pictures in your academy of your favorite pictures. All right, so here we've put down a metal bridge. And so we're continuing forward. Looks like we got some chompies along the way. So we'll send Birdie off screen, use that to increase our speed and get those wings, which cause explosions of air to take them out. And so Airstrike is a really, really powerful brawler, but he's got that ability to use the bird, which is really awesome. Because the Cyclone Punch can also bring Birdie down for that additional Airstrike. You gotta watch out for these cactus guys here. So we got another item here, we got a new sorcerer weapon, we got the Staff of Spirals. So when we go to make a sorcerer, we'll have an additional item at the ready. Alright, so let's continue forward, we got one more egg to find, which we just found, perfect. And so we need to go and return the eggs to their nests. So you walk up to each of the nests, drop the eggs, and complete this section of the Griffin Park Observatory. Nothing stops that Skylander, not even the Troll Mountains. Thank goodness. I am so sick of those trolls and their repeated crimes against nature. Trolls really are the worst. All right, so now that we've returned the eggs to the nest in this area, and we've also returned any bonus ones we found along the way, we're gonna rail grind back to the observatory and figure out the next area that we want to tackle. Not before getting a treasure chest full of treasure, of course. Now, as an added reminder, note that you can always upgrade either your Imaginator or your Sensei now from the pause menu. It's really cool. You don't have to go all the way back to the Academy to level up your character. You can talk to Persephone straight through the pause menu. Welcome back, Skylander. Ready to do more telescoping? If you want to reach those nests on the cliffs, looks like some more eggs out in those ancient jungle ruins which means you'll have to make your way through a jungle, and probably an ancient one. All right, so we're gonna go to the jungle ruins section of this level. So what's great about this level is that you can choose to tackle each of these sections in whatever order that you want. So simply point the telescope at that area, it'll connect the bridge, and off you go. So we're gonna make our way through the jungle trail and so here we've got a push block puzzle that we'll have to complete to continue forward. See if Airstrike and me can figure this out. All right, so we've finished the push block and now we've got a lock to pick. Guide the Sensei Imp to the gong. Combine the shards to win an Imaginite chest. Collect the hammer to break wall. So as you just heard from Eon, what's really fun about our lockpick puzzles this year is that there's multiple objectives. And so I could just go straight to the gong and complete this puzzle, or I can attempt to get the three shards of Imaginite together to get an additional Imaginite chest. And so the further you go in the game, there will be additional objectives in the lockpick puzzles. Uh, evil red imp to contend with, fires, water, blocks that you need to break through. It's a really fun puzzle system that we think you'll enjoy. Life Skylanders are stronger here. Looks like some spiky guys are coming after us. All right, so we gotta move fast because we're on plants. So you gotta make sure you don't fall. And this isn't the sturdiest of walkways. I'm gonna use the cyclone punch to take those guys out, but when they burrow down, you gotta hit them when they're bouncing, or else when they burrow down, they're completely invulnerable. Right, took 
the last guy out there. Gotta go for the, the mortar troll here. I really like Airstrike Cyclone Punch when you're in close with a whole bunch of enemies. It's great because as they're coming at you, you're punching in all directions. It's great for taking on a ton of chompies coming at you all at once. So Airstrike's got these really great combos, so as you send Birdie out and do these punches, you can also follow it up with a kick at the very end, which takes you toward the enemy, getting you closer for those awesome up-close attacks which you can do, like the Cyclone Punch. But now I'm going to switch out Airstrike for an Undead Sensei, bringing in Dark Wolfgang, who you can get in our Dark Edition Starter Pack. And so Wolfgang's a bow slinger, and so you see his awesome harp has changed into a really cool bow and arrow. And so we've initiated a gong battle. And so once again, you can see in the upper right corner the amount of enemies coming in. And so this is going to be a tough battle because I don't have Sky Chi unlocked. And so let's see if I can use Wolfgang's abilities here to take out all of these enemies. <laughs> You gotta watch out for those big exploding circles left behind by the giant cactus enemies. But if I can take them out at range with my bow slinger bow and arrow, I can win the gong battle. A symphony of pain. And level up Dark Wolfgang. And the crowd goes wild. All right, we found a common piece of Imaginite. New sorcerer. We got the shepherd's staff, which will be a really cool thing to equip for my character when I make a Sorcerer Imaginator. We grabbed our eggs, and we're on our way. All right, so now we just need to get to the different nests to put the eggs back. It looks like we've got some trolls to deal with along the way. And so you gotta use the rock cover to avoid these trolls that shoot their cannons out so that way you're not gonna get hit by their attacks. And so what's great with Wolfgang is you can leave the amps behind, which do that continued music damage against the enemies as you then go hide behind the rocks so that you're not taking any damage. Yeah! And on your way back to the nests, Grab as many extra eggs as you can, because you'll get bonus prizes for doing so. Alright, gotta watch out, get past those sheep, the most dangerous of all creatures in Skylands. We're gonna drop off our eggs and grab whatever we can out of this Imaginite chest. Alright, found an epic item. Got some new shoulder guards, new shoulder guards. the pumpkin pauldrons, epic 25 armor. armor, which is really cool. Yeah. And we'll drop off our eggs, completing this section of the Griffin Park Observatory. I got a visual on the Skylander, and better yet, can see that all the Griffin eggs in the jungle ruins got returned. All right, Portal Masters, that was a quick look at the Griffin Park Observatory, which is one of our new adventure pack levels for this year. Couldn't be more excited to have you guys continue to venture out and find those griffin eggs. There's a lot of really cool hidden stuff in that level. All right, Portal Masters, be sure to hit subscribe, and thank you guys for watching.